Hi guys, today I have makeup products I want to use up in 2016 part 2. So I have quite a few here. They are mostly in my current makeup rotation and I put quite a few of those into my project tin pan and finish 7 by spring seasonal challenge. So I will link those two videos down below for you. So let's start from lips. I only added two lip products into this project. So the first one is Maybelline Baby Lips in the color Melon Mania. So I don't have much of this left as you can see that's rolled up all the way and I only use it morning and night as a lip balm. So I think I can finish this maybe in a month or two. The next one I have a Benefit lipstick in a sample size here. So I don't think Benefit makes this lie anymore. I think they're called full lipsticks, full color lipsticks, something like that. And this is in the color No Computation. And as you can see, I don't have much left either. And this one is a quite dark color. So this is what I have on right now. And it's dark, it stays for a long time. I had a snack and it's still on. So I don't know, I, I can't really reapply this very much. So I think even though it only had a tiny bit left, it's gonna be quite a challenge for me to finish it up. Next, I have a few face products. The first one is a setting powder. It is Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the color Reserve Your Cabana. I use it as a highlighter. Sometimes I use it as an all-over setting powder, but right now it's a highlighter for me. And as you can see, I have a big pan going on right now. So I'm trying to finish this up as quickly as I could just because I feel this is one of the highlighters I have less products left in it. Then the next one is an actual bronzer. This is from e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And I am only focusing on this bronzing shade. So as you can see, I have quite a bit of a pan going on as well. So I want to finish that as soon as I could. Then I have two concealers. The first one is from Tarte. And this is Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I have it in the color medium. So this is a very high coverage concealer and it is a little dark for me right now. I use it on my face and then I put foundation on top of it so that way the color, the color difference doesn't really show up that much. And I really like it because it covers my hyperpigmentation really well. So I want to work on that. I have a lot left. I think I am only down to there. And because you only need to use a tiny bit of this every time, I think this will last me quite a long time, which I'm okay with. Next, I have a L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealer in the color Light. So I use this under my eyes as a highlighter slash corrector kind of thing. So I don't have much left for this guy. As you can see, I only have, I'm not sure if the lighting's showing it, there you go. Uh, so as you can see, I don't have much left at all. And I think I can finish this maybe in a month or so. Next, I have a foundation. This is Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in the color 3.0. So as you can see, I marked it. I am halfway right now. I think this will not last me for too long, maybe a couple months. And it is a perfect shade for me in the winter right now. I was just thinking, you know, if it's good for me, then why not just finish it? And if I put it away again, then I can only use it next winter. It's gonna be another year. You know, I just wanna finish it. And then I have a face primer from J. Airy Dale. This is their Smooth Affair Face Primer and Brightener. This is a sample size. There's not much product left in it maybe only up to there. So I think I can finish this in the first month of 2016. And I actually really like this guy. And then the last face product I have is quite a pain for me. This is Jose Moran 
coconut water color in the color pink escape so it's a very lovely product and it's a very lovely color as well but as you can see i don't have much left that's because i've been working on it since the beginning of 2015. so i've had it for over a year i've been using it every day i really just hate it now at this point and i really want to get it out as soon as i could so the rest of the products are all eye products. I first want to take two products out of my original video. So those are both from Tarte. One is a brow pomade. The other one is a eyeliner, purple eyeliner. So those two, I tried them out again. They are workable, but they are definitely on the dry side. And then they would both have a lot of products crumble off on my face. And I kind of feel it's just not worth the trouble, especially the eyeliner. I mean, if it crumbles into my eye, I'm gonna get irritated eyes and I have to clean it up and all that. So it's just not very wise idea for me now. Um, so I think I'm just gonna toss them into the trash and I have so many other eyeliners and brow products to work on, so why bother with those two? Then I added one gel eyeliner from L'Oreal. This is their 24-hour infallible eyeliner in the color navy. So I hope you can see. Yep, I've already hit pan. It's a very tiny small pan, but it is quite deep. And I think I probably have two-thirds of this product left still. So I really like this eyeliner. I think it's it's definitely up there for all my gel eyeliners. I just want to get this out of the way. It is on the older side. I don't want this to end up like the other Tarte gel eyeliner and one day I have to toss it. Next, I have a cream eyeshadow from Tarte. This is in the color Shimmering Taupe. So as you can see, I don't have much left at all. I probably only have a quarter of the product left. I mean, it goes quite deep there now, and it's very thin along the edges. And this guy, I've been working on it for over six months now. And I'm really sick and tired of it as well because I've been working on it for so long. It is a lovely color. It stays put for a long time too. I just couldn't deal with it anymore because I've been using it for too long. Next, I have two mascaras. One is L'Oreal Carbon Black Extended Mascara. The other one is Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama. Both of those are in my current rotations. I think I'm gonna try to finish four more mascaras this year, but I just don't know which ones yet. And I'm gonna try to get those two out of the way first. Then I have a really small brow product. I got this guy from a Japanese supermarket and it doesn't have English writings on it so I don't know the name or anything along those lines. I don't have much left as you can see it's only that little bit but the problem with it is that it is quite a hard pencil and I don't need to use a whole lot each time. This teeny bit will last me quite a while. The very last product I have right here is eyeshadow primer from Cargo. It is their picture perfect eyeshadow primer. It's a sample size and I have about half left right now. I use it every day and it really, it's just, I don't have anything bad to say about it, but it's not outstandingly good either. And I just want to finish it. So that's it, that's all the products I'm trying to finish in 2016. So in total, I have 53 products. I think that's quite ambitious and it will be quite a stretch for me to finish all of them. But I certainly will be happy if I can finish the majority of the products I picked here. If you do any similar videos, project panning videos, or if you just do it at home on your own, please share your progress down below and leave a link down below so I can go watch your video or just follow up your progress. Thank you so much. Bye.